I am Marang Baloch. Now I am addressing all of you from Islamabad. And you will raise your voice against the Baloch genocide and help us. Our people are being extrajudicially killed and our people are being forcibly displaced. You can file an online petition for us. More than 100 of our friends are in custody of Islamabad police. Bandook hamare logo ne nahi utha hai. Hamare logo ke aad mein tasbire hai. Wo tasbire hai jo aap logo ne azaro saale se saalo se unke pyaro ko agwa kiya hua. Kaise nahi chala tha? Aap log to bol rahe the ki hum ifazat karenge. Aap ki ifazat ki yeh lakir hai. I am Marang Baloch. Now I am addressing all of you from Islamabad, Pakistan. I hope you are in any part of the world at this time and if you are a humanitarian person, then you will listen to our voices and you will raise your voice against the Baloch genocide and help us. Baloch genocide has been going on for decades in Balochistan in which thousands of our elders, youth, children and women have forcibly disappeared. Our people are being extrajudicially killed and our people are being forcibly displaced from their hometowns. Military operations are being carried out in our areas, our resources are being looted and this genocide of our nation is intensifying day by day against this severe Baloch genocide we held a peaceful sit-in for 13 days in Thurbit, Balochistan and after 13 days we started a peaceful long march which started from Thurbit and traveled hundreds of kilometers to Islamabad as reached the capital of Pakistan. Today is the 32nd uh, uh, day of our mass movement against the Baloch genocide but in this whole mass movement from sit-in to the long march all over Balochistan, the state has used extreme force to stop and end this movement. False FIRs were registered against our people, our friends were subjugated to physical violence and friends were arrested. And when we were, uh, we were faced all of our these violence and conspiracies, and when we reached Islamabad, then we were stopped from going on to the Islamabad press club. And after being stopped, for three to four hours, the Islamabad police started torturing us. We were accompanied by small children, women, elderly and young people. All of them were subjugated to severe torture, water cannons and tear gas were used on us during, uh, during the night in extreme cold, injuring many of our innocent children, women, elderly and youth. And after we were all arrested, there were about 18 women and children and more than 200 were of our youth after releasing the women and children last night, uh, last night and after attempt was made to evacuate them from Islamabad forcefully. But we resisted for seven to eight hours and then we were released. Still, more than 100 of our friends are in custody of Islamabad police and are not being produced in court. While 14 of our friends have forcibly disappeared and we are being given no information about them, nor, any, uh, nor are we getting any information about them. We need help from all of the world right now. You as a human being can stop the genocide of a nation by helping us. If you want another holocaust not to happen, then you have to stop the genocide of Baloch nation by helping us. You can help us in this way, you can write a letter to the UN Working Group about our genocide. You can inform the human rights institution of your country or any other country in the world about the Baloch genocide. You can raise your voice for us in, in your country's parliament. You can inform the journalists and media houses of your country about us. As a journalist, you can inform the world about the Baloch genocide. If you are a researcher, you can research our mass movement and our genocide. You can protest for us in your city. You can hold political debates all over the world on the Baloch genocide. You can file an online petition for us. And you can campaign for us on social media. We hope you can understand our pain and fulfill our humanitarian duty, your humanitarian duty by helping us.